Tiafimo Lopez to be ringside at the Lomachenko Crawler fight. Does that mean Tiafimo Lopez and Lomachenko are gonna fight next? Well, the top rank could happen. We get into that next. Please like and subscribe. Help us hit 10,000 subscribers. Leave us a comment below. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, welcome to another episode of Friday Check the Hook. Uh, according to a BoxingScene.com article, uh, Tiafimo will be ringside for the Vasily Lomachenko uh, versus Crawler fight. I don't know where Tiafimo Lopez and his team, top rank, is going with this. I don't know what they're going to do about this. Um, what's their plan? This is this is way, way, way too soon uh, to put him in the ring with Tiafimo. Um, I mean, this is way too soon for Tiafimo to be put in the ring with Loma. This is way too soon. Look, uh, Tiafimo Lopez is only 21 years old, and his best wins are over Diego Magdaleno and Mason Menard. These are not names that prepare you for Vasily Lomachenko. Lomachenko is the number two pound for pound guy. Um, yeah, he's the number two pound for pound guy. Some people have one, uh, but he's two. He is extremely skilled. He is extremely experienced. He's a two-time gold medalist and three-weight division world champion. Uh, he's got every credential, every accomplishment um, you, you would want in the sport. He is uniquely talented and skilled. And he's at the height of his game right now. And this is not a knock on Tiafimo Lopez. Look, this kid is a special, special talent. Uh, look, the punching power, the speed, the combination, the, the, the accuracy. And that is what most people don't mention when they're talking about Tiafimo. This kid lands with speed and power. But more importantly, most importantly, it lands right on the button. It was like when Pacquiao was coming up in his prime and he would hit these guys, knock these out, like, how's he doing it? Well, he's doing it by landing on the button, right? On all the danger zones, right on the chin, right on the temple, square in the nose, right? Right on the button. And that's where this kid lands. The precision punching for the hand speed and power is absolutely insane. He lands square, quickly, and ferociously. T.P. Lopez will be a great fighter. He will absolutely be a great fighter. But it's way too soon. Look, you can't put him in the ring there with the best guy or the second best guy in the sport. The best guy in the weight class. For sure. Uh, one of the best guys, one of the best two guys in the entire sport. It's not going to work. He could... He doesn't have any experience. He's not tested. Uh, uh, look, the haters get on Lomachenko. For his loss to Salido. Look, it battle tested him. There was a silver lining in that. Salido missed weight. He came in heavy. He hit Loma Low a thousand times, beat him up, pushed him around, posed his will on him, and gave him a lesson. He won. He beat him up and won the fight. Salido won, and I don't care. Look, I'm not a Loma fan. I'm not a Loma hater. It is what it is. Salido beat him. Salido missed weight. He, he, he roughed him up. He made it a dirty fight. He toughened Loma up. He battle tested Loma. There was a silver lining in that Salido fight that he had to dig deep. Team Evil Lopez has never even been pushed. He's never been tested. So you're going to go from Mason Menard and Diego Magdaleno to, the, to Vasil Lomachenko. He will school you. If you think you can just walk through Loma, you're not a serious person. You aren't a serious person. He doesn't have the experience to take out a top two guy in the entire sport. That comes with time. I don't care how good he is. And he is special and he is talented. So Top Rank better not be thinking what we all think they're thinking. Or what the Boxing Scene article assumes that they're thinking. Now, we saw Manny Pacquiao, right? We saw Pacquiao go to a Spence fight and he obviously has no interest in fighting him. You know? Um, I, I don't know if... Uh, you know, apparently Pacquiao thought Garcia was going to win and he wanted to fight Garcia. He never really wanted to fight Spence. Um, but, now he wants, you know, so I, maybe Tia Fuego Lopez thinks Crawler's going to win. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe even Crawler winning is no crazier than Garcia winning, which is why Pacquiao was there, apparently. Pacquiao has no fight, interest in fighting Spence. Maybe, you know, Tia Fimo has no interest in fighting, uh, Vasily Lomachenko. Maybe he's a Loma fan. Maybe he's just there to watch Lomachenko, right? You know, I don't know. Uh, but putting him in the ring is an awful idea. Look, Loma doesn't just beat you. He makes you quit. Getting destroyed by Loma is 
bad. Bad. Nicholas Walters and Rigo disappeared off the face of the boxing scene. For for, for Walters still hasn't come back yet. That's how bad. And, and, and people were picking, some people picked Walters to win that fight. They, they at least picked him to test him and be a real fight for Lomachenko. Um, and he hasn't resurfaced in the years, what is it, three, four years since? How long ago was that Walters fight? It's been a while. Rigo. I mean, he's back now, and he's taking it real slow, and he's trying to come back, and he faked an injury to get out of the fight, and, and now he's fighting bombs, and he's trying to get his confidence back. That's what Loma did to him. Well, I, I, like I said, Rigo's back, but he's obviously not the same, and he's obviously trying to get back to where he was before he got annihilated by Lomachenko. That's a Hall of Famer right there. So he did that. To a Hall of Famer, which is Rigo. Rigo's a Hall of Famer. We can get into that on another episode. Um, but if, if he can do that to Rigo, what? And, and he did the good fighters too, right? Nicholas Walters, uh, Miguel Mariaga, he made them quit. Made them quit right there on their stool. Battle tested guys, elite level guys, made them quit. Experienced guys. Tiafimo Lopez is, is, is infinitely more talented, yes, than those guys, but he's not battle-tested at all. What's he going to do when he said he doesn't know how, you know, he's never had to rely on, on coming back. He's never had to battle, he's never had to deal with things like Lomachenko's going to throw at him. This is a really bad idea. This is a really, really bad idea. This would not just be a loss for Tiafimo Lopez, but this could destroy his career moving forward, destroy his confidence. He may never be the same after a loss like that. Look, not everyone bounces back like Canelo did after that Mayweather loss, right? Because Mayweather schooled Canelo because Canelo wouldn't test. Not that Canelo's not a good fighter. Canelo's a great fighter. But Mayweather made him look like trash because he, Canelo's never been tested like that. And he was way more tested than T.P.M.O. Lopez's. He beat Trout, who tested him. No one's tested Lopez yet. Lopez hasn't fought anyone, really, in the top 30 in his own weight class. Top 40? I mean, he, he really hasn't. So now you're going to fight the number two guy in the entire sport. That's not going to go well for you. So if this is what they're trying to do, reconsider that plan top rank. Reconsider that deal ESPN because you could destroy your star. Not everyone bounces back like Canelo did after he got destroyed by Mayweather. And Loma, and I'm not comparing Loma to Mayweather, okay? Mayweather is much, much, much greater than, than Loma. And Mayweather would beat him at lightweight or super featherweight or whatever. Okay, I'm not comparing the two. But Loma would put a beat down on Tiafimo like Floyd did to Canelo. Don't do that to him. You don't know how he's going to bounce back. This kid's never, you know, this kid was an Olympian. He's never been battle tested. He's an all world prospect, most confident in the world. Don't stick him in there now so he can be food for Loma. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. Um, you, you think. Uh, you think this fight's realistic? If not, why is Tiafimo Lopez there? Uh, is this insane, right, for Tiafimo Lopez? Is it, could Tiafimo Lopez win? Maybe you think he could win. What about Faloma? Is this a no-win, you know, a no-win fight for, for, for Faloma? If he wins, he beats a guy who wasn't ready. And if he loses, then he loses everything. Is this is a lose-lose for Lomachenko? Or I guess if Lomachenko loses... That he's not a star anymore, right? Because now there's this young kid who's the best thing we ever saw. He'd just be Lomachenko. And if he won, which he wouldn't, but if he did, he would be the best thing we ever saw. If that guy comes up 21 years old and is the best fighter in boxing, which he would be if he beat, uh, if he beat Lomachenko, then boxing's got a new star, right? And it's TFP and Lomachenko. Now, he'll be a star anyway, but if he doesn't, he'll be the biggest star ever. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Like, he'll be massive. He'll be a pay per view attraction if he beats him. At 21 years old, it, with, 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 with no prior real working experience? That would be insane. So, does Loma have anything to win? If he wouldn't, he beats the kid who's not ready for him. So, let me know what y'all think. I'll leave your thoughts, comments below. Um, I, I Again, I'm disgusted with the fight. I don't even know if the fight's going to happen. Do y'all think it's real? Do you think top rank is that crazy? Do they need it for the subscribers? Tell me what you guys think. Uh, thoughts, comments below. For Friday, check hook. This is 3D Boxing from Texas to the world. Signing off, saying thank you and God bless. Enjoy 3D Boxing vlog videos? Show us some love by clicking the like button.
Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3dboxingblog.com is also on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.